lesson, page 22 and 23. <clears throat> my eyes stunk. Here was my favourite teacher in front of the class, telling me I couldn't handle it. After saying he believed in me all year, now he was telling me I was destined to get kicked out. Right, I said, trembling. No, no, Mr. Bunny said. Oh, I confound it all. What I'm trying to say, you're not normal, Percy. That's nothing to be... Thanks, I blurted. Thanks a lot, sir, for reminding me. Percy, but I was already gone. On the last day of the term, I shoved my clothes into my suitcase. The other guy were joking around, talking about the vacation plan. One of them was going on a hiking to Switzerland. Another was cruising the Caribbean for months. There were juvenile delinquents like me, but there were rich juvenile delinquents. Their daddy was executive, or ambassadors, or celebrities. I was a nobody from a family of nobodies. They asked me what I'd be doing this summer, and I told them I was going back to the city. What I didn't tell them was that I had to get summer job walking dogs or selling magazine subscriptions. I'd spend my tree time worrying about where I go to school in the autumn. Oh, one of the guys said, that's cool. They went back to the conversation as if I never exist. The only person I dreaded saying goodbye to was Grover. But, as it turned out, I didn't have to. He booked a ticket to Manhattan on the same greyhound as I had. So there were we, together again, heading into the city. During the whole bus ride, Grover kept glancing nervously down the aisle, watching the other passengers. It occurred to me that he always acted nervous and fidgety when we left Yangtze, as if he expected something bad to happen. Before, I always assumed he was worried about getting teased, but nobody teased him on the Greyhound. Finally, I couldn't stand it anymore. I sat looking for kindly ones. Grover nearly jumped out of his seat. What do you mean? I confessed about eavesdropping on him and Mr. Bernard that night before the exam. Grover's eye twitched. How much did you hear? Oh, not much. What's the summer solstice deadline? He wins. Look, Percy, I was just worried for you, see? I mean, hallucinating about demon max teachers. Grover. And I was telling Mr. Bernard that maybe you were overdressed or something because there was no such person as Mr. Dot M. Thank you.